Welcome to our first lesson, Interacting with Fonts and Photoshop, brought to you by PrintWand. Our goal here is to prepare this Photoshop file so that our commercial printer or anyone that we're handing our file off to can work with the document and not have to worry about any potential font conflicts. So in the first part of our lesson, I'll show you how to go and get the fonts from where they're stored on our computers and copy them so that we can hand them off. And in the second part, we'll talk about how to convert the fonts in our Photoshop docs themselves so that you don't need to include anything else when you're giving them to the printer. So here, I'll show you how to go and get your fonts if you're using a Windows computer. First, head down to Start, and then go to My Computer. Here, we're going to head to Local Disk, which is your C drive. Then we're going to go to Windows, and then Fonts. And so here we can see all of the fonts that we have loaded on our computer. Let's go ahead and create a new folder on our desktop so that we have a place we can copy our fonts to. And we do this by right-clicking on our desktop, heading down to New, and then heading over to Folder. And we're just going to name this Fonts to Copy. We'll open up our new folder that we have here on our desktop, and we'll go ahead and drag to Select. And then Windows will automatically paste this for you. And that's how you take care of copying your fonts over in Windows. If you're using a Mac, the process is a little different. Head to the Macintosh HD, and then the Library folder, and then the Fonts folder. And again, here we have all the system fonts loaded for, on our computer. So we're going to go ahead and we'll create a new folder on our desktop so that we have a place we can copy our fonts to. And you do this just by right-clicking on the desktop, selecting New Folder, and then we can just rename it whatever we want. In this case, we're just going to call it Fonts. Okay, now that we've done that, we'll go ahead and drag to Select in the folder, and then right-click to Copy. We'll go back over to our desktop and open up the new folder that we have over here, and then right-click again and go down to Paste. So that's how you can gather up the fonts that you might be using in your Photoshop document. Now to me, this is the preferred way to give a document to someone. That way if they don't have the font that you're using, they can load it on the computer and then they should be all set with your document. Now another option would be to convert the text in your document to an image. So here we're now in Photoshop and we can see we have a block of text that has been typed into the document. And what we're going to do here is convert this text, which is vector based, into a rasterized image. We'll get more into the differences between raster and vector-based artwork later on in our lesson. But for right now, this is the reasoning behind what we're doing. So what you want to do is go ahead and head up to your menu bar, go to Layer, head down to Rasterize, and then over to Type. And there you have it. Your type has been converted into an image. Now you don't need to include your fonts with your Photoshop doc. The type has been placed here as a piece of art. But here's a word of caution though. The problem with this method is that there's no going back from it. Once you've rasterized your type, it's no longer editable. So if you're going to go down this route, it's best to wait until the very end of your creative process. Or save a copy of your file with the type non-rasterized, and then another with it rasterized, so that if you need to, you can make changes and you still won't have a problem doing so. So this concludes our lesson about interacting with fonts in Photoshop. Up next, we're going to talk about the correct use of color. Make sure to check back often to PrintWand for more video lessons as well as other articles to help you with your marketing and promotional needs.